yeah, she now rockin' with Mr. Wit. A little flavor from Q Beats, you know that this a hit. Michael Jackson bad, yeah, this is it. A few months ago, I was about to call it quits. Until I came across personalized math tutoring. FBT, the number one solution. So what you waiting on? Everything is online. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Witt with Fort Bend Tutoring and today we will be talking about FBT News for July 2013. Alright, so you know it's going to be Independence Day coming up soon, July 4th. So everybody that loves America, what's up? Alright, so that's what's going on here. We got July 4th coming up. It's July 2013, FBT News for July 2013. So, what do I have for you today. So let's talk about some math tips for the summer. Number one, you want to keep your math skills sharp over the summer. And how do you do that? Well, I have a few suggestions for each and every one of you, whether I'm talking to a parent or a student or both. Listen up because this can help out. First of all, as a student, you can review your notes and practice the problems that you had in your previous class. You still may have some of your notes and some of your workbooks left over from your previous class. Go ahead and look over those so that you won't forget those skills. In mathematics, a lot of the things that you learn, you'll end up using in your next class. So you don't want to forget the math concepts that you learned in your previous course. So that's going to be tip A, and that is to review your notes and practice problems from your previous class by going over your notes and working out some of those problems, all right? And our next tip, you want to prepare for your next class. So how do you go about doing that? Well, you can use Fort Bend Tutoring to help you prepare for your next class in several ways. One, we have our free math videos that have a lot of math concepts that you may be using in your next class math class so you can go ahead and start checking those out and that way you'll be familiar with them when they're brought up in your class you can also use our online math tutors to FaceTime to start teaching you your upcoming class or if you're in the Houston area you can give us a call or text us and we can go ahead and set an appointment to meet you one-on-one -on -one to start teaching you your next math class whatever that may be so that's how FBT Fort Bend Tutoring can help you out in that way then you could also hire a tutor in your area or a teacher that can help prepare you for your upcoming class remember you want to go through the door with an advanced over the other students and also to make the class that much easier so if you take academics in a competitive way then you definitely want to win by being ahead of the game so definitely go ahead and check into hiring tutors in your local area whether it be Fort Bend Tutoring or anybody else that can assist you in preparing for your next class and finally you want to get your hands physically if you can on your upcoming textbook and you can do that in several ways you can either go to your school district or the school and ask them to loan you the book over the summer or you can actually get it on consignment another way to get your textbook is to actually just buy a used or a new version of your textbook on amazon.com either way getting your textbook before school begins is a great way and a great resource to have before school starts that way you can start reading the material and going over exercises before your class begins alright so that's gonna be those tips for keeping your math skills sharp over the summer next let's see what we have here the next thing that I want to talk about in this month's FBT news and that is there is a big secret about college algebra out there and let me tell you what that big secret is ladies and gentlemen combined with all the concepts of algebra 1 and algebra 2 those two classes combined, especially Algebra 2, is the exact same thing as College Algebra. That's right. By the time you finish Algebra 2, you should be able to pass College Algebra. That being said, there are many tests that you can take, especially like the CLEP test, C-L-E-P, the CLEP test. Let's say that you're in high school and you take the CLEP test, or even if you, let's say you graduated, and you pass the CLEP test, a lot of universities and colleges will accept that as college credit. So check at your local colleges and universities for opportunities to take the CLEP test, especially if you're in the 11th grade and you finished Algebra 2, or you're in the 10th grade and you finished Algebra 2, and you've passed it successfully, Go ahead and check to see if you can take the CLEP test so that you can go ahead and get college credit for college algebra and test out of the class. 
That way that when you enter college, you won't have to take college algebra and you already have credit for college algebra. So that's one of the big secrets about college algebra is that it's the exact same class as Algebra 2, 11th grade mathematics. All right. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Well, once again, this is Mr. Witt with Fort Bend Tutoring. We would like to thank all of our donors that help us bring you more free math tips and math video tutorials every month. So thanks a lot, guys. We really appreciate your help. And as always, please rate, comment, and subscribe. This is Mr. Witt. Peace. So what you waiting on? Everything is online. Just hit the website. They even got FaceTime. Subscribe to the YouTube. Request the video. Watch your math skills go from all right to incredible. They got math, got algebra, got geometry. Pre-cal calculus. Can't forget trigonometry.